What's going down, y'all? Happy Friday. It's the Wake Up Crew, Ray G, joined as always by my brother, Jay Rich, here to look at some Week 8 NFL plays. Early look, we're recording this on Friday because we're grinding the slate and we're like, yo, there's some really dope plays and some numbers that we like. We want to put this out there so maybe you could take advantage of it before lines potentially move coming into the uh, the Sunday matchup. So let's just pull up the board, Jay, and just talk through a couple of different plays that we like. And let's talk about the man that's on the thumbnail because you've got some good information about one Derrick Henry, don't you? Um, You could say good. I think right, good is probably about, about how I would describe it. So Derrick Henry um, playing against Houston, the worst rushing defense in the league, yep. just allowed 167 rushing yards to Kenneth Walker. As you can see here, his rushing yards is at 100 and a half. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's a lot to you. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But Ray, did you know that Derrick Henry in his last three games versus Houston, he has 88 carries, 673 yards and seven touchdowns. That is 225 yards per game over the last wow. three, averaging almost 30 attempts. So needless to say, I think that Derrick Henry can go over 100 yards and I think he can go over 200 yards. He'll probably settle somewhere around 150, 175, but Yes, Ray, we are smashing the over Derrick Henry, 100 and a half rushing yards, and he's hitting three straight. So he's moving. Tannehill also nursing a bit of an ankle injury. So maybe they lean on Henry even more. Malik Willis hopefully doesn't see the field too much because I think that does hurt Henry just slightly. But even still, 100 and a half is very reasonable for the King versus the worst rushing defense in the NFL. They're giving up 164 per game on the ground. They're one of the worst teams on third down, so that should just lend for more opportunity for Tennessee to get the ball. Uh, They don't have Derrick Henry's rush attempts up. Uh, He's just good across the board, man. I mean, he's been hitting his receiving yard. Look at this. Henry went 58 receiving, 33, 30, 10. They don't have his receptions up right now, but, Jay, I am all over this number. 101 rushing yards for Derrick Henry versus this Houston defense should be slight work. And while the yeah. play the the stats aren't posted yet, I would also look at Jalen Petrie or Jonathan Owens tackles versus Tennessee because they're just going to be in tackle mode versus Derrick Henry all game. I want to talk about another running back. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Josh Jacobs fantasy score versus the Saints. And you may think the Saints are a high power defense. Against the run, they are not. The New Orleans Saints are giving up 123 rushing yards per game, which is bottom half of the league. Josh Jacobs is a bell cow trying to get paid. His fantasy score over the last three games, 34.5, 30.3, and 36.5 versus Houston, i.e. Derrick Henry smash Derrick Henry. I think Josh Jacobs is going to be due a big game versus the Saints. I love the fantasy score, Jay, and I also am fine with the Josh Jacobs rushing yards. Look at this. He's hit this in three straight, 144, 154, and 143. In our model, the rushing yards looks a little bit better for Josh Jacobs in the fantasy score. You don't have to worry about getting in the end zone. So whether it's the fantasy score or the yards, I'll take the yards. I like it for Josh Jacobs versus the New Orleans Saints. Yeah, I like that one quite a bit. And even right to your point, even further, he actually has faced the Saints once in his career. He had 27 carries for 88 yards. So even went over in that matchup, in my opinion, was a much better defense back in 2020. But yeah, Josh Jacobs has been a bell cow. He's been playing at a very high level. That offensive line is blocking very well for him. They're really leaning on him in the run game. And I think he's got a pretty good shot of going over. So I'm with you. I think this is a great spot. Is there anything else that you're looking at? Because I know there was one guy out in Philly that yeah. you've been having your eye on, right? A little bit ah, low, you feel his number is. The Reaper. And we know how bad. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Slim Reaper, Devontae Smith, more than four receptions, you know? He's hit this number. You look at his last four games. He's hit this number. He's averaging close to seven receptions a game versus a Pittsburgh defense, Jay, that is awful against the pass. Not good at all. We know Philadelphia. They run a ton of plays. Jalen Hurts, this is one of his primary options. I have no clue why this is sitting at four, Jay. I actually, let's go take a look at something real quick. I just want to see where the books have Smitty at right now. Let's look. Devontae, Devonta Smith. Here we go. Let's see where they have him at and just see receptions. Uh, Four and a half on the books. Juice to the under right now at four and a half. I don't care. I like it. I want it. Five, 10, three, eight, seven versus Pittsburgh coming off of a bye week. I like the Reaper more than four receptions on Sunday, Jay. I like all three of these plays, my man. 
Yeah, it's one of those weeks where which guy is going to be the guy who goes off? And I think to your point, Devonta Smith is a reasonable range of outcomes for him. Four receptions is more than doable. And heaven forbid he is the guy in this offense this week. He could go fucking nuclear against this terrible Pittsburgh Steelers secondary. So I do really like this play a lot. I don't always love choosing, but I think this is a bet where you do want to make it. You could go with A.J. Brown, and he could obviously go off for 200 yards against this defense. But four receptions is more than reasonable. I think you're looking at a push or better. I would be pretty surprised if Smitty only had three receptions in this game. Same. Now, they may run the ball a lot. Um, it's very possible, but they are much more susceptible through the air. This should be a massive game for Jalen Hurts. And it's just, it, you talk about quarterbacks on the slate. Jalen Hurts should be the QB one. Like I, I like Josh Allen. He's facing the Packers, but if Jalen Hurts doesn't ball out in this game, I would be very, very surprised. Yeah, Jalen Hurts looks good as well. I mean, gosh, they got his rushing yards up at fifty and a half. First, it's Pittsburgh uh, fantasy score at twenty two. But those are the three early look plays. Uh, if I had to rank them in order of confidence, it would be Derrick Henry, no doubt. 100 and a half yards, Josh Jacobs, 85 and a half, and then Devontae Smith at four receptions made. So this is an early look. We're taking a look at these lines on Friday. If we find other things, we'll post them in the comments. And who knows, Jay may wake up on Sunday morning and say he wants to put another video out there. We could potentially do that as well. Um, as always, we just walk you through our process. We don't make you pay for picks. We just ask that you hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, like the content, comment below. Let us know what you're rocking with this Sunday in the NFL. And as always, if you tail, give prize picks hell. And if we fail, do not bail. We'll be back. NBA, college football, NFL picks. We're doing it all on the channel, all for free. We appreciate it. Good luck. Enjoy the games on Sunday. We out. Peace.